Hello Joe, this is Rich and we are going to start looking at these layers. Now the thing about layers is that they are so central to everything you ever do in Photoshop. You'll use them all the time and if you don't figure them out, if you don't have a handle on them, then you will be met with frustration just about all the time when you're trying to do something because it's just there there. Now there's a bunch of different layers. This is the layers palette right here. You see this is the background. The background is actually your main picture. You've got a trash here to get rid of layers. Now you're never going to trash the background. You just go up here and close it. Uh, there's a new layer thing here that'll make a new layer for you. There's a layer group so you can add a whole bunch of layers into this little file folder. There's adjustment layers. These are adjustment layers. Well you can't see them all because they went hiding. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, these are all the adjustment layers and you make these adjustments like the solid color gradient pattern levels curves black and white photo filter you make them on their own separate layer and what that does is it it does whatever it's supposed to do but it doesn't impact or change the background so the background stays fully intact which is really cool okay so let's come back down here uh, this is a layer mask which is far beyond this discussion today this is FX, that means special effects on the layers, and this is lock layers, okay? So I'm going to just move this back over here, join it into its little palette, and get going. So we're going to add a layer on here. We want to colorize this picture. Now I've started out, you know, the one I sent you before had some green in here, and some orange, and yellow, and some blues, and all kinds of cool things. So I'll show you how I did that, and it's, 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 it's fairly easy and straightforward. So I'm going to add a new layer on. Now I've got a green color here, and I've got a paintbrush. Now my paintbrush is 22 pixels wide, and it's soft. Um, so what soft means is that the, the edges of this paintbrush are, are very soft. If I change this up to hard, 100% hard, so you get really a hard line there. And in uh, things like these, soft is better, because you don't want to have a, a perfect demarcation, because that's not life, right? Okay, so let's get rid of those two guys. Boom, boom, there we go. Now I better change this back to uh, soft, didn't I? There we go. Back down. Okay. So this is your typical soft edge round brush. Um, it gets mocked sometimes, but it's a good brush. Now, what I want to do is paint this grass. This grass. That little tiny piece of grass there. In here, if we could find it, and over here. And I'll show you how to find it in a bit. Okay, so let's start off here. Ooh, that's not right, is it? It's just a big solid blob of color, of green. And that doesn't do much for this picture. And you you know that when the ones I sent you, they didn't they weren't like this. And and this is just to show a point that when you're working on a layer, if if you just have it as a normal layer, what you're gonna do is get this. And and that really I mean if we kept doing this, if I said, Okay, Joe, this is perfect, that's your grass, you're gonna say, Are you kidding? That's not the grass. That's a big green blob. But if I change the blend mode of this layer, this layer here, by dropping this thing down and going and going to say, which one would probably work? Well, in this case, it's always going to be color. If you're colorizing black and white, it's always color. I tap on that. Look at that. Now we got the, the underlying texture is visible, and uh, the green color is applied to it. Okay, so I come over here, and I do the same thing. I scoot around, try and get it all. If I want to be finicky, I can zoom in and, and do each one a little grass stalk. I'm not going to do it. That's that's for you. I'm showing you how to do it. You have to take it and make it perfect. Okay, so now we're getting into a part that's a little bit difficult because I can't see where the grass starts and where it stops in here because it, it's so dark. So this is how to get around that. And I know there's grass in here too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten up the picture temporarily a lot so I can see where the grass is. And the way to do that is to go back to the background layer. Now I'm, because it's the easiest way to do it, I'm going to add on a levels adjustment layer. And this is the adjustment layer. And what this is telling you is that this is the light side, it lightens it up. This is the midpoint, this is the midpoint, and this is the darkness. I'm going to leave the dark, well you can see how the dark, what it's done to the sky, it's brought it out a little bit. Uh, but that's not our discussion right now. So I'm going to take this midpoint slider, I'm going to move it over. And look at all the grass that's now showing up underneath this, this black dog. And just right in here. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the this layer here. Got my green. And I'm going to paint that in too. 
and be careful with it and then we're going to fix my many many errors because I do make lots of errors but Photoshop is forgiving you know it'll allow you to fix lots of things and around the front of this paw and there's even some in here okay okay you see I made mistakes there okay so there we go that's the grass covered or colored now I'm going to undo I'm going to, I'm going to make this layer invisible by turning off the eyeball okay now we can see that there's grass green up in those places now I've made some mistakes we have to fix them so I'm gonna get the magnifying tool and I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna slide it to the right and it'll zoom in you can stop anytime now and get my eraser and the eraser also has the option of hard or soft edges and I keep it soft and we're going to erase around their foot and get it off of her shoe and uh, there's some on her leg I think I got and I'm gonna now if you want to go to 100 percent from here you don't have to go fiddling around and demagnifying the thing you just tap twice on the hand tool or double click on the hand tool with your uh, with your mouse okay there's a space right there I've kinda made the dog's foot and her knee green okay we're gonna come up get the eraser again and I'm gonna erase it off her knee I'm gonna erase it off that's the dog's leg, part of the dog's leg I think there's the dog's paw and a paw here okay so now we're coming along now I think I got some on this lady's hand and let's see where else I got some where I shouldn't have on his arm he should have had a tattoo. He looks like the kind of guy that would have had a tat. Uh, so if you want, you can add one on. And it's on his pants here. And this is just erasing away the uh, the things I did earlier. And to move around, if you want to go from point A to point B, is that his pants? I guess it is, yeah. What you do is you press the space key, like this, and it turns whatever tool you're working to into the hand tool then you just drag drag the picture around okay there we go uh, I think everything looks pretty good although I'm not gonna be too finicky because this is a demonstration rather than perfection right okay so I'm gonna double tap on the magnifying glass that fills the screen that <laughs> kinda of filled the screen right there there we go and uh, let's let's get the adjustments out of here okay there we go so that's that's pretty good. If we turn this off and on, we can see where we've done it. And I guess there's a oh, there's an there's one right there on his elbow. Uh huh. So you just check, 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 because you you do make mistakes. Well, you may not make mistakes, but I certainly do. Um, that's my modus operandi is to make mistakes a lot. So then fixing them becomes easy. Okay, turn this off again. Okay, so that's called. We'll call this layer one. We'll call this grass. We just double tapped on it, double clicked on it, and highlight it, then type your name. Now, what do you want to do next? We'll do something else here. Um, I'm going to add a new layer above this one. And again, you tap on it. You change its blend mode to color. Now, what color shall we do? How about we do a blue in the blouse, okay? And I'm going to get my brush tool. I'm going to choose here, and I'm going to slide around in here and uh, ah, maybe go up to a purpley color how's that a lavender that's called lavender okay she is now going to have a lavender blouse so I'm going to just zoom in on it a bit uh, get the brush and just start working away now this brush is awfully big so I'm going to use the left bracket key to make it smaller because I don't need it that monstrous to do a, a blouse. Okay, there we come. Down here. Now, if you wonder how I'm so good with the mouse, it's because I'm not using a mouse. I'm using a, a graphic a graphic tablet. I'm using the uh, a Wacom Cintiq. Um, it's an LCD screen. I'm working right on the screen. Okay, so there's that. Let's see here. And up here. And again, I've still got it as a, as a soft edge brush. That looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Huh, yeah, I like that color.
That's a nice color. And I suppose we could turn this back on again and just see if we got it all. I do believe we did. Okay, turn it off. Well, maybe just over the dog's beak. There we go. Now, see these two little white spots? They're two buttons. They probably are not purple buttons. So I'm just going to take the eraser and erase any color, any purple that I put in there. I'm going to erase it out because they will be that color. Okay, so now we're going to change that and call it blouse. <laughs> I suppose I should spell it right. <laughs> okay, now let's double tap on the hand tool. Double click on the hand tool. There, now she's got a purpley blouse. Let's do the curtains back here. That could be probably challenging because there's going to be different colors in there. We will zoom in on them. And let's do just one of them. And then it's going to be yours to figure out. I think I'm going to make them blue. How's that sound? Blue? Okay, so we're going to add another layer. So you tap on this, click on that, left click, um, and we change it to color. And just do this over and over and over again. You never stop doing that if you're colorizing a, a picture like this. Okay, so what color blue will we make them? That's a nice blue right there. Okay. And we get the brush tool. And away we go. Now you can do anything you want with these. Because I'm sure that when they were in this house, they probably went pure blue without any other colors in there. Um, so, you know, there's some blacks that have got some uh, some color mixed in. It's, it's kind of getting garish there. And I have to make this smaller to get around those teeth, or whatever the heck they, those things are. Um, Where's my left bracket key? Come on, keyboard. Make yourself apparent. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in here. And move up a bit. Get my brush. So some of these areas you're going to have to be very, very careful with. And and, and just make sure you do it right. And da 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 da. And you know when you get this close? It usually looks really crappy, and you think, oh man, what am I doing? How could I do this so badly? And then when you zoom out, hey, everything's fine. And I'm going around here, and you can see how much easier it is with a tablet than with a mouse. Um, okay, so what I've done now is I've, there's some obvious black areas in here. So I'm going to get the uh, eraser, and I'm just going to erase where the black should be. And, you know, I find it really hard to go left to right, up and down is much easier. And we'll do there. Ah, uh, that's awfully big. Take bits farther down. <laughs> One pixel, really, yeah? There we go. So, you, if you want to make this perfect, you got to do this kind of stuff. you got to get in make the little details. Isn't it the saying, the devil's in the details? Yeah, well, they are you got to get it right. Okay, so let's take a look here. And I'll do a bit more on here. So this is erasing a color I put in. I suppose I could have been more fastidious when I did the painting originally. Okay, so let's zoom out. Double click. Okay, well you can see that, that yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, like I would think I would, I would go back with all that now. I'm just, I'm just adding it back in by doing alt Control z There we go. Now instead of that, I think I'm just going to go to this layer, which is curtains. Did I spell that one right? No, I put an extra S in there. A I and S. Okay, cool. Okay, now I'm going to lower the opacity of it. And you just scrub it a bit here. Okay, that's a bit better. See, none of these pictures are going to have brilliant, brilliant, brilliant colors. And maybe even the uh, the grass is, is too brilliant, so we just take it off a little bit, change, lower the opacity, lower the opacity of the blouse. See, an older picture like this is going to have muted colors, not brilliant things like our present-day digital cameras. Okay, so, you know, we're almost at 15 minutes here. That's how you do it. And you go back to the curtains, you do this curtain here, and you do these little curtains in there. And then you could do something for these awnings, you make them a color, and you do something for the side of the house. 
and then you get into the sky, which we kind of discussed. So I forgot to see if you forget an area like this. I said, oh, damn, I forgot that. You go back here, you get your, uh, um, there it is, the eyedropper tool, sample the grass, it gets the grass color. Okay, you see what I just did? I got the eyedropper tool here, I went back to the grass layer, I tapped on the grass, and it made that color the foreground color. Now I can go in here, and I can paint in the color here on the grass. Okay? So there's all kinds of little tricks you do learn as you go. Um, I've tried to give you as many as I could, but, you know, hey, that's it. So you just do it over and over and over and over and over, and you have fun, and you use a different layer for everything, and the layers are awesome, and they do the job for you, and they look after you, and they really are your friends. Okay? So there you go, and uh, I look forward to seeing your brilliant um, and creative use of layers and painting to make this picture pop. Okay? So thanks for watching. I hope it uh, helps you out. Talk to you later. Bye now.